Hello everyone. Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be discussing how to add checkbox into custom property interface using property tab builder. This is very useful when the design parts are sorted into two main categories like CNC versus sheet metal parts, manufactured versus purchased part or private customer versus commercial customer parts. Let's go ahead and get started. Click on SolidWorks resources tab on the task pane and select property tab builder. The property tab builder dialog box is launched and let's change the type of the property tab uh, custom property template so this is a we are doing this one for a part file so i will leave it as part and this message box we can leave empty if you add f, uh, if you type something it will appear on the top of the interface it is really not necessary and now click on this group box group box is usually added by default when we open up property tab builder all the elements that we are adding need to be inside the group box and let's change the attribute of the group box select the group box you can control all the attributes of each and each individual element using the third column which is control attributes columns Let's change the caption. This is the heading of the interface. I will change it as private versus commercial. So this will appear on the interface and default I will leave it as expand expanded now we have defined the attribute of the group box let's let's select the group box and add other ele necessary elements double click on the checkbox you can double click on each element or you can drag and drop you can drag and drop or double click so you can swap these elements and re rearrange as as required and I have added one checkbox and two text boxes let's change the attribute of the checkbox we will change the heading I will type it as uh, commercial and uh, name of the property this will appear on the summary information dialog box on the custom property tab so I will type this one as a type of customer and by default I will leave it unchecked and here is the value this is the third column of the summary information dialog box property under property tab uh, the value I will type this one if, if we check on this commercial then the value should be commercial customer customer if we leave this unchecked the value should be private customer private customer and from this configuration you can have you can add these properties to a particular configuration so you can add this to the whole file whole part file so I will select custom tab so this will be added onto the custom tab on summary information dialog box so the caption the heading is commercial the check heading of the label of the checkbox is commercial when we tick it uh, the type of the customer the property name would be type of customer and the name column 
the value column would be commercial customer when we decrease. When we leave it unchecked, this value would be private customer. We will, we will see how this work after we apply this property to this part and go and have a look at the uh, summary information dialog box. And you can, we can use this advanced options. I will, I will use it like this. For the text box, I will change this to name name of I will type company name company name I will change the property na name to custom property name to company name and the value I will leave empty and configuration I will change it to on custom tab similarly to the second text box I will type this one as customer name so the name of the custom custom property I will type the same customer name and type leave, leave at text and value is empty and configuration set it to show on custom tab all right now we have created checkbox and added two text boxes and go back to commercial this checkbox again and click on this commercial customer under the advanced option and for the commercial customer we have to use company name and for the private customer customer name is used so under this advanced option we can control the visibility of each element so when this is ticked this box would be activated and only company name on, on the only on only the text box with the company name would be visible when this is unticked this box would be activated and only the text box with the customer name would be visible let's see how this really works by saving this one as a template click on save button and then this is the default location SOLIDWORKS language English and I will save it as template and exit the command now go to the custom property tab you can see now private versus custom commercial interface is added under the property tab so now this is commercial customer name is visible so I will add customer name TYT private limited and click on apply before I go and apply I will show you the customer property we don't have any customer property added go ahead and click cancel go to open go to customer property tab and now click apply go to files go to properties you have the two custom properties added to the custom tab as per this interface so type of the customer is private customer and customer name is TYT private limited This should be not a company, this should be oops. Oh. I'll go ahead and delete for the properties. Cancel. 
and now this is not a cost commercial product this is a try this is for a private customer so I will I will add a, com a customer name Tony and apply and then go profile properties and now you can see type of customer private customer customer name Tony let's do the other one as well go ahead and click delete okay and now I will change this to commercial when I change it to commercial this text box change to company name so I will type to type this one Tony private limited and click apply now go ahead and check custom properties type of customer is added as commercial customer and company name is Tony private limited click OK and save the part I hope I believe you have understood how to the application of this checkbox and uh, hope this is useful please like the video add your thought into comment fields subscribe the channel to get new videos thank you for watching